You can have, but uh, in this instance, uh, so better can. way is ahua. So, so the question uh, is, Oh, no, the mama kiyana. That means, sarire kiyala kiyane, patavyaapo, tejo, ayo, adi, dhatu agya kiyala tamai, api ugarna, api kiyala tiyana. However, me sarire ta me keka vedana, denana, tadayana, gurundana, keka vindi me kiyana. Eka dhatu da kiyala tamai, yahi, eva ge eka kama ta kiyana. Oh, otherwise what? So the question is what makes the body feel? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Body reputation. Oh, then, I I am a woman. 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 I am a a Vedana again, up in Vivida again, Kiana, again, Videna, Kiana, Sunny Pai Kiana, Tadavena, Kiana, Burulena, Kiana, Pitsena, Kiana, Rasne Kiana, Eva, a Vedana again, up in Kiana Vidi, Hiravena Kiana, Anena Kiana, Miss Helena Kiana, Monomona Hario Kiani, up in Kisiam, Vidina Vidita, Yakian, so you can translate this part. <coughs> so we have these bodily sensations uh, and especially pain. So especially about the pains, we have different ways of describing. It's like a kind of twisting pain, a stabbing pain, or piercing pain, or like a knocked against pain. All these kind of different pains are there. It was sitting on the petto lutino, sunny pie, singing do we, on the eye, sapari, eva gikiana, to do a mini. So, likewise, we have also like good sensations or like on the pleasant side, so it is like nice, good, uh, soft, or light, comfortable, all these things. Is, uh, like tactile sensations on, on the like good or comfort uh, pleasant side. So like we have the uh, elevated elements uh, that are like the solidity or uh, heat uh, fluidity and uh, vibrations or air element, there is another kind of element, the consciousness element. So this feeling or that uh, Vedan I usually prefer translating as experiencing, so that is something to do with the element of consciousness. Then there is a kind of recognizing or categorizing of that experience happening. And the game perception. So the, that uh, this kind of uh, recognizing or categorizing the experience is what is called the aggregate of perception side. Then you have thinking or like considering about the experience that is uh, to do with the uh, aggregate of formations. 
දැන් හිතන්නේ කල්පනා කරන්නේ මතක තියාගන්නේ සද්ධාව රාගය තරාව ඒ ධාතුවක් තමයි කියන්නේ ඒ සංස්කාර ස්කන්ධයට අයිති කොටස ඒ විඥාන ධාතුව තමයි so whatever falls within this aggregate of formations that there are different mind concomitants uh, or activities so if you consider activities is like thinking pondering analyzing remembering maybe planning all these things activities they happen really within this aggregate of formations the aggregate of formations or also includes different mind concomitants uh, both on the whole some or another some side like or neutral things so things even like passion or attachment uh, but also confidence faith uh, energy all these things are there within the aggregate formations but uh, whatever is there in the aggregate formations that is to do with the element if you consider the elements that's the element of consciousness ida kota den oy api kiyanne satiya samadhiya prakya eva dhatuma thamai vijnana dhatuma thamai also things like sati and wisdom or experience or understanding panya they also are within uh, the uh, uh, this uh, element of consciousness kasi api kiyana kaama chanda vyapara tina vidudra chakupu chitta e dhatuma tama e vijnana dhatu so namara kita ham do did not say this because for sinhalis people it's much clearer with the words but <coughs> we have to clearly uh, like there is a set that talks about aggregates but now we talk about elements so there is a element particular element called consciousness element also all these mental things they have to do with the element of consciousness it over the ियन another number like uh manasika uh, mukati uh, concentration uh, attention i don't know Nivarana, all these uh, hindrances or uh, spiritual faculties they are basically mind concomitants that fall within the aggregate aggregate of formations but the aggregate of formations if we have the categorization according to the elements has to do with the element of consciousness it was denena wa kiyana ita eka thama eka vijnana dhatu ma thama denena wa kiyana mana hari api kiyana na e e da ehin rupa denena wa kane saddha nahayen ganda suwanda hema denena e gata api kiyana chakku vijnana sota vijnana gana divva kaaya mano vijnana ke e vijnana dhatu ma thama and knowing or recognizing or cognizing the experience things as the experience like as the object let's say the mm. world mm. is what is consciousness that's the aggregate of consciousness but that is also to do with the element of consciousness it's about the a r tani ahapu de anuwa නින්දීම් කියන ඒවා සහ ඔය කියාපු අනිත් ටික ඔක්කොම එක එක ගොඩකට දාන්න පුළුවන් ධාතු වශයෙන් අරන් මොකද්ද මේ ධාතුව විඥාන ධාතු so if we consider the elements because the question was connected with the elements all these things starting with the experiencing or feeling vedana and the other mentioned things they all of them have to do with the consciousness element එතකොට ලයික්වයිස් ද ලෙට්ස් සේ මෙන්ටලි 
mental kind of things element is the consciousness element it's what a element vitarai dhatu vitarai ena mukut ne the element itself it's not anything else than that හැබැයි ඒ ධාතු ගැන ධාතු කියලා අපි දන්නේ නැති ඉන්දා වෙන විදියට හිතා ගන්නවා හිත හිත ඒ විඥාන ධාතුව වැරදි විදියට හිතා ගන්නවා but because we don't understand the fact that that itself is an just an element uh, what starts happening there is like a wrong thinking a wrong apprehension or comprehension of that very fact ඒ වැරදවා තේරුම් ගැනීමම ධාතුව Mm-hmm. but even that wrong understanding itself is still a, a, just an element eka vijnana dhatu because it's thinking it's the, again the consciousness element e varadawa therum ganima hinda me satyo kiyala vajatiya kinna mama kiyala ekkene kinna gewal dorwal gaswal loke vishwe okoma thiyala ධාතුවා but still this wrong understanding once again is just actually just an element of consciousness ඊට පස්සේ බුදුරජාණන් වහන්සේගේ ධර්මයේ අහලා යම් කෙනෙක් ධාතු ධාතු වශයෙන්ම තේරුම් ගන්නවා ඒ තේරුම් ගැනීමත් ධාතුව ඒ විඥාන ධාතුව so then somebody after hearing the buddha teachings manages to correct this and starts actually seeing and understanding any an element as just an element as but that understanding itself is also just an element just meaning not like in a short coming way but it's like exactly that nothing more nothing less etata me duk dukka kiyanne dhatu duken midena marge kiyanne dhatu ma thamai so so in this way if you if you want to say that way is you can say the dukkha or suffering is a kind of element and the path leading to the cessation of suffering also kind of just element dhatu hara wena mukukkat deyak apita vishaya wenne na so outside there is nothing else than like that is not just an element habai dem podi tawa gamuru tanak tiyena dhatu hariyata ma dhatu washayen therum gatto dhatu මිසක් වෙන වටින දෙයක් නැහැ කියලා තේරෙනවා. So there is a ball like it is it is quite complex and deep thing this one so if we have a deeper look at this somebody that properly and truly understands the elements is just or exactly just an element with that this understanding comes up uh, so it's like out of these elements nothing truly valuable or like of intrinsic value can really be produced eka hinda vatina kamak nathinda e dhatu gena yam aashawak ho mulawak ho bendimak tibuna na ekat nathi welaya so when that happens whatever attachment that was there happening in connection with the elements or combinations of the elements or something all that attachment is undone is severed at that point etawada tawa dhatuwak pratyaksha karaganna puluwam ena but is that uh, uh, one can get to pratyaksha kiyana experience oh experience one can get the first the experience of yet another kind of element that is called nibbana dhatu so that is the nibbana dhatu. දැන් මේ අපි ධාතු ගැන කතා කරන්නේ ධාතු ඉගෙන ගන්නේ ඒ නිබ්බාන ධාතුව අවබෝධ කර ගැනීම සඳහා so why we talk about this elements is uh, is the outlook to get to the nibbana ධාතුව බුදුරජාණන් වහන්සේ දේශනා කරන්නේ 
निब्बान दातु असंकताय अनेक दातु संकताय के Sometimes they translate it as unconditioned, uh, and all but all the other elements they are compounded. Other other elements give you pradhana sing hai, patavi apo tejo vayo akasa vinyan. So the four, the six, there are six main elements uh, that are compounded, and that is the earth or solidity. Uh, Adhesion or water element, uh, heat or fire element, uh, movement or vibrations, wind element, then element of space and element of consciousness. Eva ke mein daatu hai samagam bandila thaoti na varna gandha rasa oja ki yeh lahatar ko. So then there are some uh, derived elements uh, that are kind of there where they whenever the the elements have some interaction. ऑब्जेक्ट असंकता <coughs> Asankata, mm. that is uncompounded. We can see, say that the uh, nibbana dhatu itself is the like allaying of or cooling of the uh, dukkha. Uh, what they use? Nimenava is like fading away, or the uh, extinguishment of the dukkha. So what? धातु <laughs> पटांग Tanya has the kind of uh, understanding arising out of learning or listening, but not still have the first hand as the first hand experience understanding. So then, the Marakita also let's we should have a look at this. The first kind of understanding one gets, or first kind of wisdom that arises, is this Sutta Maya Panya. That is the wisdom uh, or understanding arising out of hearing or learning. एक ऐसी उन्होंने तीतराई तमंगे में अध्यक्षी में क्वेश्चन के अंडरस्टैंडिंग का केन। Only based on that one can get like first hand understanding or like experience understanding. 
දැන් ඒ සුතමේ ඥානය ඇති වුණාට පස්සේ අර අද්දැකීම ඒ කියන්නේ එක්ස්පීරියන්ෂල් අන්ඩර්ස්ටෑන්ඩින් එකට යන්න මාර්ගයක් විය. Only based on this understanding uh, from learning uh, one can like see or know about a path that leads to the experiential understanding. ඒක ඉතින් මේ මෙතන ඉන්න අයට ගැලපෙන විදිහට කිව්වොත් සතිය සහ ප්‍රඥා තමයි ඉන්න මාර්ග. So the for the people here probably most suitable or refitting for them or what they might like to hear the most is the path that is the sati and clear comprehension path. තව ටික ඒක පළල් කරලා කිව්වොත් RS ආයක මාර්ගය තමයි මාර්ග. So if we widen it a little bit the definition of the path it is the eight four no path. තව ටිකක් ඒක වෙනස් වචන වලින් කිව්වොත් මධ්‍යම ප්‍රතිපදාව තමයි Oh, another expression is used for that that for the eightfold noble path or the way of practice is the middle path. So another ex, uh, kind of uh, name for that is the samatha and vipassana practice that is tranquility and insight. Tawat dena siddhiyar ki vas sattis bodhi paakshi ka dharma tamai maari. or you can say it's the 37 qualities that are on the side of enlightenment tavat vidyat kiyan pulam pancha indriya pancha bala sapta bojjange eva thamai maarge or you can start mentioning those things that are within this 37 things like the four four like striving for four basis of uh, sati four uh, roads to spiritual power five faculties Five powers, seven enlightenment factors, and the eightfold noble path. Then, any of the Vedic Chaturanga, our experiential understanding, is any. So, if we, at one point, one day, these all these things are developed and functioning, working, so at that point, this experiential understanding might happen. No, it's not that I am here to help you. So, I think now it's very. quite clear then he then a a a um experiential understanding එකට එන්නේ ඉස්සෙල්ලාම හොඳට තෙරු අනුසරණය යන්න ඕනේ හැබැයි නැත්තම් so but there is another condition that you need almost like before or together with the understanding arising from learning or listening and that is a proper refuge in the three parts ඒක තමයි පටන් ගන්න කියන්නේ getting clarity about the what is to do and start more more and clearly doing those things so when that starts happening you might you should get the understanding there's a lot of work in ahead of me if i want to reach the right hmm and and that thing eh then a question at the end are are the salayatane उद्यू <laughs> විශේෂයෙන්ම සත්වයන් තුල ක්‍රියාත්මක වෙන්න. So now we talked about these elements but it's not that sometimes you have just one element. It is always there is like 
interaction and like uh, maybe uh, ekak wedi wenna puluwan happy tannin ba or oh, interaction and uh, there's a great oh. interdependence yes etagata yeah. so i mean like wikipedia oh. always linked between one side to another side oh. पहा रूप so the first five they have to do is the form element material it ah oh, it was a vijnana dhatu naam and the consciousness element has to do with the mental e e haya gana ma tama yo api wena wacana walinu kiyanne pancha skande kiyana salayatane kiyana e toy tika gana ma tama e katha karana so those six they are called either the mental and materiality or sometimes they are called the five aggregates or sometimes they are called the six sense bases then oy uh, dhatu hay pancha skande vashayen bedenawa nan patavi aapo tejo vayo aakasha kiyana haya roopa skande dalana puluwa vedana sanya sankara vijnana kiyana hatara vijnya उसनेस एक पहली एक त्याग कल्पना के लते एरुंग का दात हुआ है पंचस कंदे वाशे में बेदना कोटे पहुँच में देखा भी नहीं ये लाइक और ना कल्पना के लते यार देन हरी बेना ये लाइक है कल्पना के लते एरुंग का सो यू कैन थिंक अबाउट दिस देर आर दिस डिफरेंट क्लासिफिकेशंस सो टू सी इफ यू कंसीडर द एलिमेंट्स इन इन टर्म्स ඊට ඒ වගේම සලායතන වශයෙන් ඔය ධාතු හය බෙදන්නත් පුළුවන්. So then this um, another categorization is according to the sense basis. එතකොට චක්තු සෝත ගාන දිව කාය කියන මේ ආයතන පහම රූපස්කන්ධය ඇත දාන්න පුළුවන්. එක පට ව්‍යාපෝ තේජෝ වායෝ ආකාශ කියන පහට දාන්න පුළුවන්. so the uh first five sense bases we can kind of consider within the five element first, first five elements so this uh, eye sense base ear sense base nose sense base tongue sense base and body sense base they uh, we can consider really most flip under the elements of hardness uh, adhesion heat and movement as well as uh, space hmm ඊට පස්සේ මේ මනායතනය මනස එහෙම නැත්නම් මනායතනය ගැන කතා කරනකොට ඔව් මනායතන මනස අධම්මන් මනෝවිඥානත් කියලා කියනවා මනායතනය කියන එක විඥාන ධාතු කියන එකට දාන්න පුළුවන් so the last sense base that is the mind sense base we can consider under the element of consciousness ee wageema e ara vedana sanya sankara vijnana tikata e eka daanda puluwa likewise the five aggregates we can also like uh, categorize in between the sense bases ek english man hitanne samyutha nikaya forward introduction ek ek bikku bodhe gena katha So, if you are more interested in these different in interdependencies or categorizations, according to my memory, in Samyutta Nikaya, in the wisdom publication, in the introduction, it has some uh, discussion about this because Samyutta Nikaya, there is a one 
book of the Samyutta Nikaya is the, called the book of the sense bases and there is another one dealing with the other stuff so I think if I remember correctly the body included kind of discussion how these things are differently connected and how to categorize them. Mm -hmm. Eye sensitive matter. So mm -hmm. the bodily feelings, the, we have like in the body, we have the bodily sensitive matter, and because of that, we, we can get the uh, bodily being. Bodily? Being. Oh, then, yeah. Uh, yeah. विधिम हाय में ऐतिहे ने ये अदाल प्रसाद रूप हैं। हाँ प्रसाद। So all these, if we consider all of the sense bases, with all the six sense bases, there is a particular materiality or matter or issue, even that is called sensitive matter, प्रसाद रूप। एक मतामाई ए ए विज्ञान हटागाने। And according to that particular sensitive matter, the corresponding consciousness, sense consciousness arises। ए विज्ञाने विज्ञाने हटागानो कोटे को विज्ञान दातु हटागानो कोटे ए हा समग्रम बैंडिला वेदना सान्या संकारत हटागानो। Together with this corresponding consciousness, the accompanying mind concomitants that means the feeling, perception, and aggregates, sorry, formations, they arise with that consciousness. So, I don't know if it was clear. So, like, in the eyes, there is a sensitive matter that is kind of conditioning the arising of the eye consciousness. In the ears, there is a sensitive matter called the ear consciousness. Ear sensitive matter which conditions the arising of ear consciousness. Likewise, for the tactile sensations, there are like uh, all throughout the body, there is like uh, kind of tactile sensitive matter, and when that one uh, that one conditions the bodily sensations of consciousness. Either was it then where? स्तंद दातु आयतन क्रियात्मक वैन्नि आमिसे नीति ये करता हूँ। Now all these aggregates and sense bases and elements, they kind of follow certain rules, laws. It's kind they have like their own laws how they work. ये नीति ये तो हमारे यहाँ पे क्या नहीं पार्टी चे समुपाद है। So this Law, how these things work, uh, the Matitam says is called the Patitya Samupada, that's the dependent origination. Or conditioned arising. Mm -hmm. elements, 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 elements. So there is this very popular and well known in the Buddhist circles. Uh, kind of series of twelve links starting with ignorance, like conditions by ignorance, the formations arise and so on. So within that series, actually all these like workings of the elements and other things, they are included in that, that's the laws that govern those. But all these things we were talking about, beings and humans, they have no, like we cannot really see them just like that. That's why, because so-called beings cannot see and understand these things like that, so these bunches of uh, sense bases or bunches of elements, uh, they think, uh, the, the thinking happens within that, that uh, this is the being, this is the individual, this is the world, this is the universe, and so on. 
ఇతకడ తమ ప్రశ్న దాగాను మీ లోకి మెవే హవాళ్ళు ఎక్కిన మీ లోకి హెదు తమ దేవాలు కితాగాను so then there is sometimes this idea comes up so who created the world this way or why is the world created this way or who was the creator and things like that it's about agam wala aya kiyana deyyam evwa kiyala vidya aya kiyana wenam ka big bang ekari moka kari ekak kiyala so the religions usually they uh, blame the god for creating these things and the scientists they have uh, some kind of other explanation maybe saying it started with the big bang then eh hadai hariyata ma me budrajanna eka hon ken budrajanna hansa kiyuwa vidhiyata therum gattot tamanut anunut lokayat vishwayat dhatu wagaya kitara so now but if you have the proper buddhist like understanding in a uh, conformity with the buddha's teachings the uh, dharmaki dham says is uh, like this whether it's the world or you or what not this is just bunch of elements my tell me at the ekata saying i think this should be really enough for this but we have only 15 minutes ఏదాతు so when there go damarati they were saying now it is exactly because this uh, elements are not understood as elements and so on that's why this dukkha or suffering or unsatisfactoriness happens uh uh thinking ne apita avashya vela thiyenne ne api me buddha agama adhani dukken me denna ona so why we follow the buddhist buddha's teaching uh, the main goal really should be in order to overcome suffering or extinguish the suffering it are dukeng midenna nan apita karanna thiyenne dhatu dhatu vashema therum ganne so then what follows up is uh, in order to achieve that what the, the thing that needs to be done is seeing or understanding the elements as just the elements ඒ වුණාට ඒක කරන්න හරියම බාධා කර බාධා වෙන දෙයක් කියනවා අපිට තියෙන සම්මුති ලෝකයේ කියලා කැක් ඒක තමයි ඇත්ත ලෝකය අපිට so what is a, a big obstacle a big kind of opponent in this whole thing is this convention and it is this concept and convention and it is this concept and convention of the world which we call this is the real world you should face the real world so that's the so called real world the concept of that the, this concept uh, and uh, convention of the real world that is actually the one of the biggest enemies of seeing the elements as just the elements mm it's about that is සම්මුති එහෙනම් ප්‍රඥප්ති ප්‍රඥප්ති වගේම වශයෙන්ම තේරුම් අරගෙන ඒවා ඉක්මවා ගියොත් විතරයි ඔය එලිමන්ට්ස් කියන එක අපිට පේන්න ගන්නේ. No so 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 this, if i am to correct this something like this so you at least should start understanding how the concept we have the concept about the world and we have the agreed on our conventional idea about the world so if you start seeing that this is actually just a concept this is or this is the convention that I, that i am really thinking or referring to once you manage to do that you might come to the like point where kind of you finish of this the convention and concept and that's the point where you can start seeing the elements just as elements 
So if we simplify it and have an example, so Tanya is a convention, that, that kind of heap of are executed. <laughs> <laughs> that is Vinita's story. Sorry, sorry. Tanya can a convention. Absolute Tanya. So Tanya is a convention. There is no absolute Tanya. Or like real Tanya is not there. It has a Tanya can a ganula make in a convention. At the ganula make. So also another convention is that Tanya is a girl. So there is actually no girl Tanya. Real, no real girl. Is it Tanya can a Russian Ganula make in a convention? At the Hemic Akhmet. Another convention Tanya is a Russian girl. So there is no Russian, no girl, no real Tanya, and no real Tanya Russian girl. <laughs> Tanya, dear Tirunga Tata, Elimans Kienega, are you the Balagan to go? Evid dear conventions to Tirunga conventions, Sir Pascal Titrai. Uh, elements so, so if you see this, then you can get to point where you see the elements as elements. So if we see this as a convention, then we consider all because like, uh, because the I is the oh. Pradana, right? Oh, no, 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 So whatever we see, all the things we are seeing, together with the seeing, there is already attached the conventions and, and concepts probably that we have about those things. They are kind of attached to all of this. Just experience things. So likewise the mind apprehends the sounds together with the mind apprehends the sounds together with the already attached conventions. So likewise for the sound, sorry, smells, tastes, tactiles and thoughts, we have, anyway we are apprehending those objects to those sense bases already there is like the attached conventions there. So because of this kind of always attached conventions, it is difficult, uh, very difficult for us to transcend this and just see the, uh, what is called the Paramatta, the ultimate level of real. Anyway, yes, yes. Can I ask a question here? These uh, conventions which we are attached to, they are like So one of the main causes for this is really uh, the surroundings. Uh, mostly surroundings means mostly the company really. So but other than the company or the surroundings or 
in the science they call it something else but I can't remember so there is we are already born with a kind of inclination or potential of the mind anyway of not seeing the elements as elements and that is their own because when we are like the fact that you are born means the some level of ignorance is still operational and you have potential for that so the, this one I think what the marketing was, uh, means is you have you need to have the potential and then because of the surroundings that kind of combines and creates mm. oh eh, they can uh, can appear the and avidya why samajeng dena veradi toraturui dekam ekutu vela tamai me sammuti istavare so this uh, uh, conventions or yeah, conventions solidify in us because of our inner potential of having the con uh, conventions and concepts gets uh, influenced by the wrong understanding wrong news coming from the outside and that kind of solidifies in our concepts and conventions. Mm -hmm. But there can be kind of good samuti also. Yes, so that's why we can overcome these things and can attain Nibbana on this. So like the really bad kind of concepts and conventions we get is, uh, again, the market comes referring actually to the Buddha's words. He said, uh, conditioned by this Ayoneswa Manasikara, this unwise or superficial attention, Ayoneswa Manasikara, and listening to not true teaching or re listening to kind of rubbish really mm. leads to very kind of wrong kind of concepts and con conventions solidifying within yourself. So then if I understood correctly there but can I, so there is some there are some conventions and concepts that help you to get to the like ultimate truth also. And also we have this in us the ability, the capability of overcoming the concepts and conventions and seeing the ultimate level. Then uh, Eka Budrajana Sadesh and Akar Puatanu, me, Pataviapo Tejo Ayoda to Ekila Tapi Halaki, E de Kamapi Hapu Deva. Are a minister to give Alder Wal, Mai Kila Hala, E Anuma Hita Hita in the Pata, Kavada, Tapita Samuti, Kuan the bed. So this gentleman asked if Venerable Damarakit can give an example. So Venerable Damarakit said, So Normally we hear about people, you know, houses, doors, cars, uh, so, yes. and uh, explanation that uh, like the, the door is a door and house is, there is really house and so on. So based on that, if you follow that, uh, that way, you cannot ever get out of the situation. So then we heard from the Buddha probably the, these these things they are just elements and exact elements, nothing more, nothing less. They, these are just bunches of aggregates and so on. So based on the Buddha's teachings, if you you hear that and think about it, but that is still Eva Tumukaghari Samuti. Eva Tikisiyam Samuti, Namut E Samuti, Samuti Ikma and Udawi. It is a kind of concept and convention there, but it is this kind of thing that leads you eventually to overcome the conventions and concepts and see the other thing. So, 
ඔයලට යන්න බෑ ඒ වගේම සද්ධම් මස්සවනය යෝනිෂ මානසිකාරය නිසා අපිට සම්මුති ප්‍රඥප්ති ඉක්මවලා පරමාර්ථ ධර්ම දැක ගන්න තත්ත්වයට යන්න පුළුවන් so but the important thing is to remember once again is out of uh, unwise attention or this shallow attention and listening to untrue things the rubbish teachings one cannot overcome the concepts and uh, conventions and reach the ultimate level of uh, seeing the things as they are and seeing the things as they are means seeing the things as elements Mm-hmm. in this instance mm-hmm. well as the wise attention the deep deep attention and listening to the truth it seems is something that helps you to overcome the concepts and conventions and attain the ultimate seeing the ultimate ingan no matama ye daatu gana api eh tahadili karagando ona idiye So this is the way how we can talk and understand about the level. Mm. Yeah, so that is where we finish from. 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 So I have a wish for all of you. May you overcome the concept. and conventions in a pain the level where you see the element ex- elements exactly as elements okay. Okay. thank you